A Sneeds man is in the hospital after exchanging shots with a Sneeds police officer. It started around 5 this morning with a call for shots fired. As News 13's Jake Holter tells us, it's the second officer involved shooting for the Sneeds police department in three months. Officer involved shootings is not a common occurrence. Shortly before 5 Thursday morning, Jackson County dispatchers received a call of shots fired in the 7800 block of Lake Seminole Road. A Sneeds police officer responded, but there was no one home. He was able to use a license plate reader to find the suspect driving his car and tried to pull him over. Instead, they got involved in a short chase. They wound up back at the suspect's home. Upon pulling into the driveway of the residence, the Sneeds police officer was right behind him. And shortly thereafter, the Sneeds police officer came under fire from the suspect, at which time shots uh, were returned. And eventually the suspect fled into the home and a short time later, uh, the Sneeds police officer and the deputies were able to, to get him out and bring him into custody. EMTs took the suspect to a local hospital for non-life-threatening injuries. The question now is, why did this happen? What makes somebody shoot at the police? Who knows? Uh, the police shot back, and he was hit. Uh, no law enforcement officers were hit, uh, thankfully. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement is now investigating the shooting. In July, Sneeds Police Sergeant Brett Preston was shot several times while responding to a domestic disturbance call. It is very out of the norm for this area especially to have stuff like this happen um, as close together as it has. So um, it just makes us more vigilant and, and just ensuring that we stay as safe as possible. In Jackson County, Jake Holter, News 13, Panhandle Strong. The suspect will face several charges, including attempted murder of a law enforcement officer once he is released from the hospital.